Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Web 2.0 badge using GIMP. Now, some people call it a violator, graphic, but we're just going to call it a badge just so you can envision it in your head right now. You can call it a violator later on after we're done, just to keep things simple. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go to GIMP, and as you can see here, I've got my layers handy. First thing you want to do is click on File, Create a New Image and make sure you create a square so whether you want to do 100 by 100 200 by 200 or 300 by 300 just make sure that it is a square press OK and here we are now to create the geometric image that we want to create you need to click on filters and then click on render and then click on gfig And before we start, make sure that your stroke is small. So click on Browse, pick a small one, click Close, make sure that it is black because basically that's going to be the outline. And then go ahead and make sure these settings are correct and click on Create Star. Then what you want to do is the sides. So in order for this to be a good looking badge, you want to have something in between maybe 15 to 30 so in this case I'll choose something like 18 and then you want to choose a middle ground so because this is 300 by 300 300 divided by 2 is 150 so this would be the middle centered and right about here so once you find the middle on both sides go ahead and click the left mouse button and then pull it up as you can see here. You don't want to go all the way up here otherwise it's not going to look like a badge. You want the pointy area to be somewhere in between this box here. Once that's done you can let go of that and go ahead and click the move a single point icon as you can see here. What that allows us to do is make these pointy areas less pointy and you're about to see that in a minute. So as you can see here, we made them less pointy. Now, once you're done with that, go ahead and click close. And we can see the image as you can see it here. Now, the next thing we want to do is create a gradient. Now, we want to fill in this badge here with the gradient. Now, in order to do that, you need to make sure that it's selected. So as I always say, you go to your layers box and make sure that it's selected. And it is, so that's great. So, next thing you need to do is click on this magic wand. Yeah, GIMP calls it the fuzzy select tool. Adobe Photoshop calls it the magic wand. So, we'll click on it. And the reason why we want to click on it is it allows us to fill in the inner areas of this badge or violator with the gradient tool. So we can click on the gradient tool here and then you want to make sure the foreground that you pick the right color that you want to have. So whether you want it to be blue or red or anything just make sure that you choose a light color. Once you've done that press OK then look at the gradient settings. Make sure that you select foreground to transparent. That means it's going to take the color of blue and it's going to make it transparent at the end. So if we start here it's going to be blue and it's going to be lighter on this side. So let's go ahead and do that. Click here and let go here. If you want it darker you can do it again like so. So there we go. We've created our very own badge or violator. Okay, great. Now that we have created our badge or violator graphic, what you can do is add some text. So we can click on text and say something like buy now. Only $7. And then we can change the coloring of it to, let's say, white and we can increase the size and we can center align it to make it centered which we've done 
and then click on the actual text and we can move it to the center and there we go.